Hello. Oh, just kidding. We're back with a new video, as you can tell. Hello. It has been a while since I made a video in this setup, as you can see. But um, I'm back with a new one, and I have some great news to tell you guys. I did a poll on YouTube asking you guys if you would like to see merchandise, Mr. Slavic merchandise. Surprisingly, 254, 58, or 85, I don't know anymore, uh, people replied, and they all said, well, they didn't say all. 78 or 80 percent said yes something around that percentage that i should make merchandise so i did because youtube offers a lot of services to content creators they also have a merchandise link option with your channel everything is already set up for you you only do the designs and they take care of the rest which is ideal for me because i don't have any time to organize um merchandise as i would want it to and do all the stuff around that so I just decided to make the designs. I made two separate designs, one with text, so with Mr. Slavic, just a crazy Bosnian, and one with just the logo, and also different sizes, big ones and small ones, really subtle, so you, can, you don't, it's not really in your face, so you can wear such a sweater like anywhere, because it just has a nice uh, Lillian flower on, uh, on your heart. The, the website looks like this, as you can see, I added various products which I thought were actually useful, so, uh, like socks, uh, pillows, uh, towels, everyone needs towels. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna add stuff that you could, that you would buy in a like regular store, but once you buy it in my store, um, you actually support me with it. Added that as a message to all my products. Um, this, this whole merchandise thing is not set up to make big money. What, you, what I actually did is I dropped the prices as low as possible. So the profit on every product is like three or four euros, max five. Even though Teespring, the website where I'm selling the merchandise on, um, advises you to have like 10, 16 dollars of profit, but I'm not in it for the profit. I just want to sell my merchandise to people who actually would want to have my merchandise, who could actually use the merchandise for a reasonable price. Because to be honest, the prices that Teespring was uh, already set up at basically were way too high how why are you not in it for the profit because i only want to cover I'm, i never started youtube with the intent of making money i just really like doing this stuff i like making videos i like doing creative stuff and that's why i started doing youtube so why are you making any profit at all then <laughs> well making these videos and all the equipment that comes with it i've been paying for from my own money um all the sometimes i need to purchase stuff in order to make a video and all of that I've been paying all of this time myself. I didn't mind, but I want to create more creative stuff, more crazy stuff. And I cannot pay that all, all by myself. So what I said is, okay, if I'm gonna sell merchandise, I'm gonna sell it for the lowest price, lowest prof profitable price as possible. All the bits of money that I do make, so it's not gonna be a lot unless a lot of people buy it. So that's why I need you guys to help me out. Um, the whole concept or the whole idea of this merch store is you get a nice piece of merch um, You support me as a creator because I can cover like video expenses basic video expenses Make cooler videos organize giveaways everything to bring back to you guys Of course it's gonna be more profit than I actually need for all of that stuff for content creation for extra equipment so what I said is all of the remaining profits that I do not use to cover video expenses and video ideas, nothing else, and I can swear to God on that one, um, even though I'm not really religious, but you know what I'm saying, is that the profit will be put on a separate account where I will be saving the money up until I can do some, some humanitarian action, as in restoring a school, but everything will go back to Bosnia. And I'm not gonna donate the money to an organization um, unless I work with an organization because I have worked with with humanitarian organizations which I actually trust which I've been working at I know from inside out and the main thing that I actually want to do is save that money up on a separate account and every time I go visit Bosnia before I go I'm going to pick a school or pick a place a family that I'm going to help out and I'm not gonna hand them over the money and be like, hey, yeah, like, everything's gonna turn out great. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you the money and everything's gonna be great, yeah. I'm actually gonna organize my friends, family, uh, people from the village, town that I'm helping in, uh, in order to restore a school. It doesn't have to be like big stuff. Every bit's help. So restoring like, like only paint, painting a school, like it sounds so ridiculous. Yeah, and I don't even have to paint it myself. 
if it's enough money I can pay people there because it stimulates the, the local economy, the local um, painter, etc. So I'm going to use that money to help other people out. So I'm gonna restore schools, donate it to families in need, youngsters who have talents and cannot buy the right equipment, help them buy the equipment. Um, so that's how I want to use all the remaining profit that I do not use for video creation. Um, I only want to cover the expenses for all the videos that I make, for the gear that I use, the gear that I uh, change or upgrade, gear that breaks, just all that, just basic stuff. And everything else promised is going to that good cause that I'll be supporting myself and organizing myself. For all the people who are new to the channel, I've been doing that like a couple of times in my videos. I have uh, actually did done one of those humanitarian actions last summer. I sacrificed like three or four days for my, for my own summer holidays in order to go to a, a refugee camp. Food packages for the kids, toys, everything. And we did that with five, I, I had only like 10k subscribers at the time. And uh, I think 15 or 25 people donated 500 euros in like 24 hours, which is just ridiculous. It was it was one of the best things I've done and it was so great to help those people out, so great to see how happy they were, so great to see the support and, and this this real community that I've tried to set up with helping each other out and not caring about anyone's religion, nationality. So all of those people in that refugee camp are from different nationalities and we helped them out really big time. I liked it so much that I just wanted to connect all the dots, merchandise for you guys with the profit. I can create more content, cover expenses, do humanitarian actions, and the loop goes on. We can just make the channel grow with some great content. I never actually explained the, the meaning of the Lillian flower in the logo of my, uh, of my channel. It is a reference to the first Bosnian national flag as an independent country. Lillian flower has a lot of meanings throughout history. Lillian flower represents humility and devotion, which is something that really fits the Bosnian people and I think it fits my channel as well. You can check out the merchandise in the link in the description down below to get to the store or you can just click on the uh, item banner below the description box where you can see some of the items listed and when you click on it you'll be redirected to the site. So I hope you guys are going to like this merchandise, help me out, help other people out, help yourself out with some nice merch and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!